So it's uh, Monday afternoon, I have practice here in about an hour, and today is uh, an exciting, I think is the right word to use, an exciting practice because we're preparing to play against Sinchu Lioneers tomorrow. They're a P-League team which is like the top professional basketball league here in Taiwan, and they have a couple of notable former NBA players on their team. I played Division Three college basketball in the US. <laughs> And now I'm playing overseas in Taiwan for National Formosa University. But if you've already been watching the vlogs, you know that two weeks ago we had the opportunity to play against four of the P-League teams already. So we've already played against former NBA guys like Byron Mullins, Dewan Summers, Chris Johnson, Malcolm Miller. So for us as a university team and for me as a young basketball player, it's been a great learning experience to play against those guys. Actually being on the court and competing and seeing what I can do against those players and what I still need to learn and get better and, and what what makes those guys so successful and what makes them so good. I was really proud of the way I improved over the four games two weeks ago. I had a 25-point game against Kaohsiung Steelers, almost had a triple-double, which I've never had before. Each game was a new challenge for us. We very competitive at moments, and then at other times we gave up big runs because we're young and much more inexperienced. And, and aside from the NBA guys, a lot of the Taiwanese pros on those teams are elite pros too. They're elite basketball players. Why I'm so excited for our game tomorrow is that Sinchu Lioneers have Simbalar and Anthony Bennett both players who, if you know basketball and you know the NBA, you've probably heard of. Anthony Bennett, of course, being a former number one overall draft pick for the Cleveland Cavaliers and Symbol R being the first player of Indian descent to ever play in the NBA. It's going to be a big challenge for us tomorrow because Anthony Bennett and Symbol R are obviously big men and uh, I usually play the wing. In college, I was a two or a three, but I'm not the only foreign student playing here. My teammate from Cornell College, Hart Galantine. He's a seven foot big man, so for him to get to match up against these guys will hopefully uh, be a great experience for him too. Instead of starting the vlog on game day this time, I'm starting it the day before. Uh, so I'm gonna head out in maybe 45 minutes and I'm gonna bring you guys with me to practice. They're still renovating our gym at the university. So for now, we're still practicing at the local middle school. Yeah, Having a good time there? Yes. All right, let's take a look at your sunburn. What's up, Ted? What's up, Jay? What's up? Hello. What did you do? I'm tightening his ankle. Because his ankle is burned. Death. Why? Uh, I heard I heard it last year. Last year? Yes. <laughs> so you know this is the And you still need tapes? Yeah. Good morning. It's about 20 past 8. I'm on my way to morning class right now, which is Mandarin, which isn't strictly part of my course, but of course being here in Taiwan, I'm trying to learn as much of the local language as I can. But more importantly right now, it's game day. Um, so after my morning class, I'm gonna go get some food and we're loading up on the bus to go to Sinchu. But uh, before all that, I have to take care of business in class. What did you say? Yeah, he's going to be looking fresh for the game with a new haircut. Oh, yeah. I was going to go get one today too, but then I didn't know what I wanted to do with my hair. And then I was like, well, we're going to take photos soon. So I made the wrong move by getting my haircut earlier this week. No, that's not what I'm saying. Yeah, I think you're dissing my life choices. Yeah, actually. Hart, right, what day is it? <laughs> it is Tuesday the 18th. I hate my teammates. I'm gonna teach him a lesson. Hard is game day! <laughs> I brought my camera to class and then didn't film class, but why would I film class? But like I was trying to show it day in the life. Sunburnt nose, don't vibe. You wanna tell us about your uh, matchup today, Hart? Uh, well, I'm not going against one NBA player, I'm going against another. And if I'm not going against that NBA player, then I'm going against another really, really, really good guy, so it's going to be a good game. Look at this guy! It's yeah. not cold, it's hot. If I wore any more clothes, I'd be sweating my ass off. I feel a little bit cold. Oh my goodness. And Jay, Jay, you What's cold? 
Uh, yeah, I'm so Why cold. are you cold? <laughs> it's 27 degrees. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. Wait, what day is it? What day is it? Oh my goodness. Hart, what day is it? Oh, I need a reaction. What day is it? So, coach. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing good. What's up, Jim? What's up? What day is it? Game day. Yes, my God. Sure. Subscribe and like. Yes, sir. Hey. What's up? Coach just explained to us that this high school are the reigning national champions. Um, the high school basketball league in Taiwan is called the HBL. Um, and apparently these guys are the reigning champions. Ready? I'm ready. You don't look ready. I'm always ready. You're not even dressed. I'm not even dressed either. Yeah. <laughs> Because I don't know what label you're in. We lost by three, we were so close. We really could have had it. I'm gonna get changed. Uh, the rest of the team is uh, playing another game, uh, apart from like the starters from our first game. We should be giving, we give you. Oh, look how nice. Oh, I love this color. It's Red. nice, isn't it? Yeah. I want this color. Well, are you my size? No, I'm 10. Oh, I am like 13 or 14. Oh no. Oh, you got a 33, uh, 33 point dick. I did have 33 points. Yeah, there. you nice. had 19. Nice. Good game. Good game. Thank you. So, how did you feel? Small. <laughs> Felt small. Which is an odd feeling for me. I was up to Sims, like, pectoral area around here. So I'll put that picture in the video right here. So yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was good. I was, I was asking more about your performance though. Double double, 12 points, 11 rebounds, quite nice. Yeah, oh, okay. No shots. I airballed one by two feet, so that was fun. But uh, but three dunks. If I made them all, you know, I wouldn't be here. Three dunks. That's true. One of them was off of a layup attempt oh, that you had. My key. That. I don't know how they didn't call your foul. You were yelling about the foul after I dunked, and I was like, 
Yeah. You didn't get you, you might as well just You didn't care anymore, yeah. I was like, Marcus, we ought to just let that one go, I'd say. But in summary, that was I felt pretty good. That was by far the most competitive that we've been. I agree. The final score was 96 to 93, so we lost by only three, and we got a good look off the last shot, we just missed it, and we had opportunities to win it with a couple of mistakes. I mean, they weren't, they didn't play their stars a lot. I think Sim played seven and a half minutes, and Will Artino something similar. Mm -hmm. um, their local stars played a little bit more, maybe 15 minutes, but in general, we were playing against their second string. But that doesn't mean it doesn't feel like a big accomplishment to play so well. And there's a superstar himself. Hey, man. 19 points. I know I've been talking a lot in the previous videos about the size and physicality of some of the players we're seeing. I mean, with Simbolar, I was just... It goes without saying, but I just have to comment on how taken aback I was by his size. He's, he's a big human being. Seemed like a nice guy too. He played well in the few minutes that he got. He just uses his, he knows how to use his body. And there's a difference between just being big and being big and knowing how to use it. He definitely has made a living out of taking advantage of his size and being a smart basketball player. But it feels good to have been in such a close game. We, we played really well as a team. We were hot for parts of the game. It's been four or five hours since the game and I've had time to tide it over. But at the time I was genuinely upset that we didn't win, which having time to reflect now the fact that I'm upset that we didn't win against a professional team speaks a lot to how far we've come, especially considering that we've lost some of these pro games by 70 points or more. But man, now that I'm thinking about it, I really wish we could have got the win because that would have just felt so good. Well, I thought I was, I thought I'd already wrapped the vlog up, but I forgot to mention it. Our Nike rep after the game came through with uh, some shoes for me. So I'm gonna just open these up and show them off, I guess, to end the video. I really appreciate all the all the hookups and all the gear we've been getting since I've been in Taiwan, but these are the Luca ones in uh, white and red. Apparently these are unreleased in Taiwan. Um, I'm sure they're coming out soon. I know this colorway, I've seen this colorway before, so I know it's out elsewhere, but, but uh, I guess that's the end of the game day vlog for today. If you are still here, thank you for watching. I'm hoping to keep documenting these unique experiences and the amazing opportunities I'm getting playing basketball in Taiwan. I know we've got a tournament coming up in a couple weeks. The actual UBA college season that we're playing in will be starting about a month after that. So things keep moving um, and it always feels good to have something new to look forward to.